20 right now. Hello, my crazy tuners. And today, I have a little crazy tuner project of my own. This is a Razor E300 electric scooter that I've modified to go about 25 miles an hour. This vehicle has several modifications, which I'll walk you through. And I have a stock E300 over there to compare it to. First, let's move on to the handlebars. First thing we have to talk about are these grips. These are some green ergonomic racing bike grips. And here are the stock Razor grips. And these are not that high quality, and they're about beat up as the ones on this scooter. Not to mention the one over here is only a half grip because of the type of throttle. So the next thing I want to talk about is the throttle. This is a, a two-speed twist throttle. It's either off or on. It's just a relay throttle. But then here is a variable speed that shows the voltage and has an ignition key, which I put this little green dice on it. This is safer because it has the key, and then the thrum throttle reduces fatigue, and the voltage shows me my battery life. And also, the brake cable and lever is the same. But here I also have a bike mount, a bike lock, sorry, for when I park it at stores or restaurants. A phone mount for recording videos like the one I just did. And showing my speed on the speed app. And then this headlight here, which is very useful for night riding. Now I'm going to show you the rear end. The ends on these scooters aren't all that different, except on this scooter, I have taken a drill and drilled eight holes in this brake drum. Eight small holes to help it cool, since it has to do with twice the load as this brake, which just has the two big holes from the factory. You can see that. Another modification I made is putting this little LED in here. As you can see in there, changes colors. And it's a really good addition for nighttime riding, so people can see the scooter. They look in here, then they'll see this big bright light, because during the night it's much brighter than during the day. This is the exciting part. Now I'm going to show you what I've done to my scooter to make it so much faster than a regular scooter. Here's a regular scooter. This one does currently not have a motor. I've taken it for a project that I will make a video on in the future. But it has two 24 volt lead acid batteries. There's this retainer across the top and then there's a on off relay speed controller in here. Again, 24 volts with a power switch charger port, and um, fuse on the side. And then here is a 36 volt battery with this sticker on it because the manufacturer said that these are, well, it says that they're Samsung cells, which are Korean, but I only had this sticker. I didn't have Korean motorsports, so Please, don't make fun of it. And I have these sponges to keep the battery in place. And here I have a Fast Scooters 36 volt controller. And this is made for overvolting all 24 volt Razor products. E300s, Ground Force Drifters, moped, the little moped things, all of that. And then this does not have anything on the side but a charge port for the battery because the key is on the top and I am running this thing without a breaker or a fuse so a bit dangerous but I couldn't fit it anywhere. And here's the factory motor. This thing is rated for 2,800 RPM but I've done some math with some speed calculators. In order to get to the speeds that it's going it has to rev up to around 4,500 so it's pushing this motor quite a bit and it does get a little hot during operation so I might switch it out for a bigger one. So it's more efficient and gives me a bit more power as well as speed. Here's the stock chain drive, stock chain tensioner. This is actually came from something else because the one that came with this scooter was broken. So that's that. Now you might have seen me take this one for a test ride in the very beginning of the video, but we're going to do it again. Okay, here we go. Thinking now to do wheelies. Whoa. 
like so fun and awesome. Now we're back, and here is my new project. Now this is actually the first electric vehicle I've ever owned. I got this for Christmas, maybe four years ago. It is a Razor Ground Force Drifter. It's just been sitting in the corner of my garage in pieces. So I finally drug it out, and as you can see here, I converted it to 36 volts. Made this little holder, but it still needs a speed controller and mount, so... I'll make a video on this project cart when it's finished, and I'll see you later. Bye.